Do you have an old laptop or computer sitting in the corner of your office collecting dust and taking up space? Well, today I'm going to show you how you could turn that pile of electronics into a new computer that anyone can use using Chrome OS Flex. I'm Jason Cipriani, and in this ZDNet video, I'll walk you through the entire process, including how to create a USB installation drive, as well as flash it onto an old computer. So the first thing you're going to need to do is obviously make sure you have a somewhat working old laptop or desktop around your house. You'll need an eight gigabyte USB drive. I'm using a micro SD card with an adapter to a full USB size uh, port. And then you'll also need another computer that has Chrome installed on it so you can flash the software required to that USB drive. All right, so Chrome OS Flex is a new product by Google that is designed for business and education users, but it's absolutely free and anyone could sign up to use it and start testing it. And I should caveat all of this with the fact that it's currently in beta, actually dev unstable is how it's labeled, which means there's going to be bugs and issues. Now Google does have a list of compatible devices, but it's a very long list. And honestly, as long as you have a PC, Mac, or a Linux computer that is made in 2010 or later, it's going to run, it may not run perfectly, and you can look at the compatible list, we'll throw it in the description below, but I wouldn't base your decision on whether or not to try Chrome OS Flex on whether it's, your computer is on that list. Install it, you can run it from the USB drive, I'll show you how to do that here in a minute, and see if it works. And remember, Google's working on this, it's something they plan on doing for education and business, so it's gonna get better over time. There may be some stuff that breaks along the way, that's just part of it, but at least you have a working computer uh, after you install this. All right, so the first thing you'll wanna do is go to the Chrome OS Flex website. Uh, you can scroll down and read a little bit about it and learn you know, the security benefits, which it's a Chrome OS uh, device is what it's turning it into. So it's going to uh, have automatic software updates. You're not gonna to have to worry about doing anything as far as intense software updates once you get this flashed. So at the very top of the page is try Chrome OS Flex. You'll click on that. It's gonna ask you for your name and information. I have filled this out uh, a couple of times now without any issue. I will also say, but not advise, that I have filled it out with fake information and it worked just fine as well if you don't want Google to try to contact you to see how you're using this in a business or a school setting, especially if you're using this at home on something for yourself. So once you fill that out, and that's literally the only step where they collect information about you, you'll be taken to a support page that walks you through creating the USB installer. So like I said, I have a US, or micro SD to USB converter here. Let's see, it'll focus. Nah, it's not going to. That's all right. So I'm going to use this. It's already actually loaded on here, so I'm not gonna walk through the entire process. But uh, what you'll do is, first you'll need a Chrome uh, web extension that is called the Chromebook Recovery Utility. You're gonna add this to your Chrome installation or your Chrome browser. And then once it's installed, you can click on the recovery, Chromebook recovery utility, plug in your USB drive, and then just follow the prompts. On this screen where it asks you to identify your Chromebook, you'll select a model from a list, select manufacturer, scroll down to Chrome OS Flex and product, you're gonna select Chrome OS Flex Developer Unstable. You'll hit continue, select the USB drive that you have inserted or connected to your computer. Now keep in mind, whatever USB drive you use for this process, it is going to erase it and you will not get anything back that's on it. So make sure you have it backed up somewhere or you have all of your information off of it. We'll hit continue again and then um, create now. I'm not going to do that because it's already been created on that to save a little bit of time on my end, but this process takes five to 10 minutes. Doesn't take all that long, depending on how fast your internet connection is. It's gonna download all the necessary files and pieces that it needs, and then uh, install it on the USB drive and it'll let you know when it's done and that you're free to remove it. So I'm actually going to uh, remove the drive now. 
So once that's done, what you'll want to do is with your computer that you're going to install this on uh, powered off, go ahead and plug in your USB drive. And now here's the tricky part in all of this is that you need to know what the boot key is on the computer you're installing this on. So like for example, if you're doing this on a Mac, you're going to hold in the option key as the computer boots up. On this Huawei device, I believe it's, I have to press F12 multiple times and in order to get it to the boot menu to tell it, hey, I want you to boot off of or start up off of the USB drive itself. Google has a list of options. Usually it's the escape key, F2 or F12. Those are the most common, I would say. You can either, by trial and error, restarting your laptop multiple times if you keep getting it wrong, um, you could go through the sequence of escape, F2, F12, F9 is in there once in a while as well. Or you could just Google your laptop or your, your computer's name as well, along with boot from USB or boot to installation media for instructions on how to do that specific to the laptop you have. All right, so I have the uh, USB drive with Chrome OS Flex installation installed on it. I'm gonna go ahead and press the power button and then I'm gonna start spamming F12 and just hitting it until I get the boot manager screen. And so on this screen, it's given me the option to boot from the Windows boot manager, which is where the operating system, the Windows operating system is installed, or I can scroll down and select device one SanDisk, which is exactly what that is. And I'm going to hit enter, and then it's gonna boot up into Chrome OS Flex. We are good to go now. Uh, so what I'll do in order to uh, install Chrome OS Flex, I actually have two options, so I'll hit get started. So you, what you can do is you can install it, which rewrites the hard drive, you know, overwrites Windows or Mac OS or, or Linux, whatever you have installed on your computer, or you can do try it first. Try it first runs the operating system off of the USB installation media, so that has to remain plugged in at all times, but it gives you a good idea of what to expect when you have Chrome OS Flex installed on that particular laptop or computer and what the performance is going to be like. I, for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna go through the install Chrome OS Flex option. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And this says, make sure you have a backup of your data. Installation only takes a few steps uh, and you'll have one more chance to confirm before we wipe your computer. So I'm gonna hit install again, another warning. Here's my one more chance to back out of it. We will erase your entire hard drive, it says. So I'm going to hit install. Now I'm not sure how long this process is going to take because I haven't ran through this particular part. I did try out the preview option and it worked just fine. It actually launched right into it without any issues once I signed in using my Google account. This says it can take up to 20 minutes. So while this works, I'm gonna take a quick break and I'll be right back. All right, so even though I was told it would take 20 minutes to install Chrome OS Flex, uh, during the installation process. I've only been gone for like maybe two, three minutes uh, and it said installation was complete. I hadn't touched anything, I just started filming again and it rebooted, but it's actually rebooting to Chrome OS Flex. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. It's the first time I've seen this part of the process. Hear the chime again, welcome to Chrome OS Flex. It's gonna ask to connect to a wireless network. So I'm gonna do that. It's checking for updates now. And it's asking who is going to use this device. Me, a child, down here is browse as a guest or enterprise enrollment. So I don't know if that's an option you'll need. That's where it is. For now, I'm gonna select you, next. Okay, I'm back again. I uh, took a few minutes there to sign into my account. I use a password manager, two factor. So it took a little bit longer than I anticipated, but here we are. Uh, it's asking some basic questions now, how I want to set up, do I want to uh, sync everything? I'm just going to leave it as is and hit accept and continue. It wants to know if they can use our hardware uh, as data collection to help optimize Chrome OS Flex, of course, because I would like for it to work better on this device in the future. And here's a little detail about Google Assistant. Yes, I want to use Google Assistant. Voice match is already set up for my Google account, so I'm good there. And now it wants to know if I want to connect to my phone. I don't yet, so I'm going to hit no thanks. 
and then get started. There it is. I now have converted this very old Huawei MateBook D, which isn't even on the compatibility list that Google provides, from a Windows 7, 10 device to a full-fledged Chrome OS device in just a few minutes for free. And again, it's not officially supported, it, but other than the one hiccup with which drive my USB installation media was installed in and the trackpad not working, it seems to be fast and fluid and I'm not having any issues yet, but I do look forward to digging in and seeing if uh, any crop up. You never know what's going to happen. For more tech tips, just like this one, as well as all of the latest tech news, make sure to visit us at ZDNet.com.